Well, happy Sunday morning to you. And guess what? Happy first day of spring. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm ready to say bye to the winter. I'm ready to say <laughs> bye to the cold days. <laughs> Even the buzzards have come back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they only come back when it's warm, okay? So praise God. So happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Yes. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. So welcome all our NBC family, visitors, and all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Amen. God has great things for you. And if you don't come expecting, guess what? You're not going to get it. That's it. And don't be one of them that says, you know, I never get anything. I never received anything. I never feel anything. Well, you know what? You got to get in the mood for him to come and open yourself for him to come in. Yeah. You know, if you got a, a mindset of just being negative and uh -huh. being mad and what am I going to do the rest of this week? Oh, and you got all your schedules instead uh -huh. of him, let it go. Yeah. Just be open. Lord, I need to hear from you. You say, I've been trying to get in, but guess what? Uh -huh. You're not letting him in. You got to open up and say, Lord, I need a blessing. I need you. Uh -huh. It's not his problem, it's our problem. We need yeah. to open up. Lord, yeah. I'm opening myself up. I want you to bless me, encourage me, yes. change me, and correct me. Amen. Amen. So praise God. We're going to be talking about staying focused yes. in him. We got to stay focused. You know, there's so many distractions going on around us. We got to stay focused. Amen. On him. If we don't yeah. stay focused, remember we're a spirit. We have... A soul, a mind, will, and emotions, and we live in a body. If you don't feed your spirit the word of God, if you don't renew your mind with the word of God, your flesh is just going to run yeah. back to the world. And it's going to fall. Uh -huh. Why? Because I'm not doing my part. I need to feed it the word of God. Yeah. And when we get in the word of God, we can press on. Yes. It yes. says, by the, uh, uh, He's, he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power love and of a sound mind. And he's not giving us a fear. We walk by faith as we study and grow in his word. Amen. Amen. So, staying focused on him or in him. Yes. Amen. And Amen. I don't want to be the same. You know, before we get going, I want, I've got a few nuggets I want to read to you. Amen. Praise and we have a whole bunch of nuggets over there that you can read. Amen. But praise God. I got a, a scripture break I want to read you. It says, God plan for you. God plan and purpose for us is to fulfill our destiny. Yeah. He's got a destiny for you. Yes, and you know, you never get, <laughs> I don't want to get before him to find out I had a plan. I had a mission he uh -huh. wanted me to do and I never fulfilled it right. because I was too busy trying to please self, yes. trying to please the world and not God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Amen. Let me, let me finish this. Fulfill our destiny to stay focused to fulfill that plan. Wake up each day knowing that you are, you're headed. Which direction are you taking? You're heading in a direction, but which direction are you taking? What are you going to accomplish and stick with it? Don't allow the distractions and busyness of life get you off course. That's it. It's going to happen all the time. Yeah. You know, somebody wave at you, you know, and they wave that middle finger at you. No, <laughs> and you say, wait a minute. I'm going to get off course. I'm going to chase him. I'm going to follow him. And I'm going to tell him something. Oh, no, stay no, focused. You know, Jesus had opportunities to get off course too. Uh -huh. But he always went to the Father. You know, he just strength. Otherwise, we can just blow this whole thing away. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't allow distractions and busyness of life get you off course. Ask yourself, am I doing, am, am I doing, am I moving towards God mm -hmm. and my God-given destiny? Mm -hmm. Is it is this my purpose in life? Or am I just wasting time being busy mm -hmm. and not really making any progress? Yeah. Remember I talked to you about the little uh, hamster. Mm -hmm. Man, he can get on that wheel. He can go forever. <laughs> and he ain't getting nowhere. We just don't want to stay busy. Right. We want to accomplish what God yes. wants us to do. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Mm -hmm. Don't be distracted and spend your time and energy on things you're, that are not helping you fulfill All right. or your destiny. Remember, God's plans are blessed. And we say a lot of times we go to him and says, bless my plans, Lord. He says, why don't you accept mine? Because mine are already, planned, already blessed. That's what we need to do. 
Amen. Remember, God's plans are blessed. And as we walk in his plan for your life, you will experience his abundance in everything you set your hands to do. Yeah. Bible says you can do all things all through Christ. Things through Christ. Christ. Amen. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> grab, your, grab your swords, grab yes. your Bibles, and let's uh, yes. make this declaration together. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. This is this my Bible. Is my Bible. I, am I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's remember. Our mind is the battlefield. Yes, yes. <laughs> if, if, if you haven't noticed that. But, man, you get thoughts pop up from mm -hmm. each and every way. Mm -hmm. And you get distractions, all things processing through there. Yeah. And if you don't renew your mind with the things of God, right. you're no match to the enemy. Yes. you got to renew your mind yes. so you can continue what God has called you to do. And he's yes. called you to do something. Yes, Amen. Yes. Praise yes. God. And uh, before I get into my lesson, I've got something else I want to share with you. It says, let your say-sos, let the word of God's faith-filled words that you speak uh, be according to his word. Amen. Listen to this. I encourage you on a daily basis to send your words out in a positive direction. Yeah. Remember, this is going to be our text. Uh, uh, <laughs> Psalms 118. Uh, excuse me, Proverbs 118.21 in, uh, in this uh, translation it says, words can bring death or life. Too much talk and you eat. You will eat everything you say. That's it. Amen. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. What is the power of the tongue? The words you speak. You know, we take that for granted. We gotta be, we gotta be careful. But you encourage you to send your words in a positive direction. Yeah. Speaking positive confessions over your life by choosing to change your say so. By choosing to change your say so, what, what you say, what you speak. By speaking the word of God. What does the word of God say about you? Your word of God says that you are blessed. The word of God says that you are a winner. The word of God says you are strong, you're healthy, you're talented, you're creative, faithful, you're uh, focused, you're uh, attractive, thank you, uh, valuable, I'm an overcomer. Amen. I can do all things through Christ. I'm more than a conqueror. This, these are just a few. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. When you begin to say your positive say so, yeah. your life will never be the same. That's it. I'm going to change. I'm going to change. People say, you know, when you came to Christ, you became a new creature. You accepted Christ. says, I'm a new creature in Christ now. You look the same, but the inside, you had a spiritual birth. But you need to start filling yourself and growing in the things of God, maturing in the things of God so that you can go out and speak what the Word of God says. Yeah. Amen. It says, Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yes, yes. God will bless you beyond your wildest dream. Yes, so get ready for God and do the impossible uh -huh. in your life. Amen. Have a blessed day each and every day just by being positive and, and, and confessing the right things instead of negative things. That's it. You know, so man, those we we can say amen and, uh, and go on from here, you know, because uh, you can fix those things. I can do so. What what do I need to do? I don't want to waste time. I want to do what I need to do, Lord. Use me. Yes, He wants to use you. Yes, He wants to bless you. But start speaking what the Word of God says about you. The world and everybody else has said things about you, and we start. Believing that and got a mindset and, and, and believing those things and we're not moved from that. We're still stuck on that, you know. And guess what? You keep thinking it and keep thinking it and keep thinking it. You know, it's like insanity. You're doing the same thing over and over and over and you expect different results. No, when you start confessing the word of God, things are going to change. Yes. Say, submit yourself to God, resist the devil. He's going to do what? Yeah. He's going to flee. Hey, he's not the same. He's different. He's learning. He's growing. Yes. And he's confessing the word of God. Amen. Woo. Amen. Say amen or me. <laughs> Hallelujah. We got scriptures. I want to give you some scriptures. Write them down and you can go and study those later. I, look, look them in different translations. Amen. I'm going to give you a translation but you go find a translation that you can understand. Amen. 
So focus, stay focused on Him. Listen to this, focus. How am I going to be focused? I'm going to be faithful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be committed. Yeah. I'm going to be dedicated. I'm going to be devoted. Yeah. I'm going to be enthusiastic yeah. by the things of God right, and yeah. stay positive in a negative world. Yeah. I guarantee you, you know, anywhere you go out there, it's going to be negative. Yeah. Anything you see, you hear, yeah. it's going to be negative. You turn the news on, what do you hear? Nothing but bad news, negative things. Amen. But you know, you can change that. You can do something about it. Yeah. We got to, listen, we stay focused and know more about the worldly things than we do about godly things. Uh -huh. Man, I, I guarantee you, you talk to teens now, you talk to people, they know the top 10 songs. Yeah. They know uh, the top 10 movies. Yeah. They know, yeah. you know, hey, wh 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 what's happening out there? What's going on? We don't even know where our Bible is. Sometimes we can't even find it. We can't even quote one scripture. Yeah. I mean, not even saying uh, 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 this little, uh, what is it? This little line of mine, yeah. little child, you know, <laughs> that my B-I-D-L-E, that's the book for me, my Bible. We don't, we can't even, we don't even know that. I'm trying to encourage you to study. It says study to show yourself approved. So, we're going to stay focused. I'm going to give you some scriptures here. Colossians 3 and 2 in the New King James says, yeah. Set your mind on things above and not on things of the earth. The Amplified says, Colossians 3 and 2 says, Set your minds and keep focus mm -hmm. habitually on things above, the heavenly things, and not things all, uh, that are on the earth, which have only temporal value. Mm -hmm. And this is things, scriptures that we can use to, to stay to stay focused on the things of God. Amen. Proverbs 4 and 25 in the God World Translation says this, let your eyes look straight ahead and your sight be focused in front of us. Yeah. You know, there's going to be distractions coming from every direction. Oh, yeah. But it's up to you to stay focused. Yeah. I talked to you last week about Lot's wife. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God says, I'm destroying Sodom and Gomorrah because of sin. He said, I want you to leave. When you leave, don't look back. She looked back. What happened? She turned into a pillar of salt. So you know what? You got to press on. You know, those uh, friends you used to have, God's going to take them. Let them go. Don't go chasing after them. Amen. Let them go. Proverbs 16 and 3 says this. This is on the, uh, let me see. This is the, uh, uh, different translation of mm -hmm. Proverbs 16, uh, uh, 16 3 says commit your works to God yes. and your plans will be established yes. the Amplified says commit your works to the Lord mm -hmm. submit and trust them to him yes Lord I'm submitting and trusting them to you father and your plans will succeed yeah. if you respond to his will and guidance mm -hmm. he says he will bring it to pass Yes. Amen. So praise God. Second Timothy, Timothy one and seven says, "For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind." Amen. Yeah. You know when that fear starts to rise up and say, "I'm not receiving it." Mm -hmm. That's not from God. Yeah. Amen. And my flesh is 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 uh, wanting to entertain some of that fear. I said, "Wait a minute! I submit myself mm -hmm. to God." Amen. You can quote scripture. Or you can just go to him. And say, yeah. I'm not receiving this. Hit that delete button and says, uh uh. Yeah. I'm not receiving this. It's not for me. That's God it. has not given me a spirit of fear. And I'm not receiving this. Mm -hmm. And negative things, negative distractions, mm -hmm. don't receive it. That's not That's from it. God. Mm -hmm. You know? It's just to pull you off course. Yes. Second Timothy two and five says this in the King James. Study yourself. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman needed not be ashamed, right? You divide the word of truth. Amen. You don't see yourself a learner. Mm -hmm. It takes one step at a time to walk. Yes, it. But you know, when you get the word in you, you're taking steps of faith. Yeah. Instead of going backwards, instead of quitting, yeah. I'm going to press on. I'm going to press forward, yeah. not backwards. Mm -hmm. Amen. But also, what must I do? I'm, I need to open the word and read it. One scripture at a time, you know. You know, a lot of people come to me and say, you know, hey, I read the Bible through a couple of times. I didn't get nothing out of it. <laughs> that yeah. tells me a whole lot about you. Mm -hmm. 
You're not open for God to do anything through you. Uh -huh. Amen. And you not you don't read it just to read it through. That's you read it. it and study and meditate it. You know, them scriptures yes. are going to come in and they're going to grab you and yes. you're going to grow and you're going to uh -huh. go for God. Amen. Amen. It's not about just running through, you know, and right. say, well, you know, just right. from, I just drove from here to Alpine. I didn't see anything. I just wanted to get there. No. But you didn't see this, all these things happen? No. no we got to be open and we got to be willing. We got to be committed. Uh -huh. Amen. Ooh, come on now. I'm preaching better than you ain't been in me. Right, <laughs> Matthew 6.33 says what? All these scriptures I'm giving you. Uh -huh. Write these down. Or you can go back and listen to the message. But all these scriptures is for us to stay focused. Amen. Helping us to stay focused on Him. Yes. Matthew 6.33 says what? But seek first the kingdom of God, His yes. righteousness, and all these things will be added on Amen. to you. You know, your priorities have a lot to do yes. with you being focused. That's it. Because if you're focused on the world, if you're focused on whatever distraction is coming against you, you're not focused on Him. Amen. Get your priorities right. Remember, step off the throne, get off the throne, and uh -huh. let God have full control. Amen. Some of us are afraid to let go of control. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We got to let give Him all yes. control. He yes. wants yes. your whole life, not just part of it. That's it. Amen. He wants He wants to rule, and He wants to drive you yeah. to where you need to be. If He ain't driving you, the enemy is. Yeah. That's but it. He wants to guide you and. Mm -hmm provide for you. Amen. Yes, Woo, hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. We, we already had a mouthful here. <laughs> and this is our text. And I'm going to read it to you in a couple of translations here. Proverbs 18, 21. And I've said it many times, but open your Bibles. Yes. Read it. Highlight it. Underline it. Personalize it. Do all these things, you yes. know. <laughs> I'll bring you one of mine. I'll show you one of mine. <laughs> That was 1821 in the Amplified says this. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. See how powerful the tongue is. Uh -huh. It's got word, it speaks words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those who love it will indulge in it and will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words. Yes. I'll come back to this. Proverbs 1821 in the uh, com com contemporary English version says, words can bring death or life. Mm -hmm. Talk too much, and you will eat everything you say. All right. It's just, you know, hey, some of these translations just make it well. I can understand that. Yeah. Sometimes we don't understand King James very well. But you, if you don't understand this, we just got to pray for you. <laughs> and uh, Proverbs 18, 21 in the, in, the, in the message says this. Words kill. Yeah. yeah. Words kill. Uh, give life. Mm -hmm. They're either poison or they're fruit. Yeah. You choose. Yeah. Your plant, your garden, and you reap or you gain, earn, obtain from what you've sown, mm -hmm. what you've planted, mm -hmm. what you uh, spread, what you've yes. scattered out. Right. You're planting your garden yes. by the words you speak. That's it. We're talking about spiritual. Mm -hmm. Spiritual, okay? Well, I just, words are nothing. Mm -hmm. No. Bible words are carriers. Mm -hmm. They carry life or death. Yes, they carry, it says, words kill, words give life. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful of what we sow yes. in our garden. No, I, I gave it to them. No, but it's coming back to you. Amen. This one says, words can bring death or life. Too much talk and you will eat everything you say. Right. How am I going to eat it? Because you're planting something. When yes. you plant something, it grows and you're going to eat it. And yeah. I don't know why I'm always this way. Mm -hmm. I don't know why these things are always happening to me. <laughs> because you're going around confessing the That's wrong it. things. Yeah. It's time we start confessing what God says. Your say-so. What's your say-so says? Your say-so says you're a winner. You're a champion. You're an overcomer. You can yes. do all things through Christ. That's it. You know, you're going around saying, you know, you always catch the flu. I'm always oh. sick. I'm always a loser. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm never good, any good. I've never, uh, I can't do nothing right. Mm. You keep confessing those things. Yeah. And, and, and now you're saying, mm. uh, nothing good happens to me. Mm -hmm. Because of what you've been sowing. Right. But you start confessing what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. And you're going to reap some good things. Yes. Because you're sowing good things. You're sowing positive things. Amen. Amen. 
Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you still love Pastor, huh? Yes. <laughs> Faith in Christ enables us to stay focused, uh -huh. to stay positive in a negative world. If you don't know what is a negative world yet, <laughs> we need to get you saved. Yes. <laughs> Watching your words oh, and your actions. Mm. Speak faith your words. Yes. Stay focused. Stay positive. Amen. You can't say that enough. You can write that down. Amen. Positive testimony will bring others to Christ. A negative testimony will push people away. What remember we talked about attitude last week? Your attitude. Is your attitude worth catching? You don't have to answer that now. <laughs> But some of us have attitudes nobody wants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to be positive. Yeah, you know, people, you don't be surprised how many people walk up to you and say, you know, man, I, I, you're always happy. You know, I, I like this about you. You know, I like this about you. You're always happy. You're always this. You're always that. And say positive things about you. Why? Because you've been watching your words and because you're, you're positive. You're watching your actions. And people are seeing it, and we've said it like this before. You listen. You may never. Some people may never come right. and step into this church building. That's it. But you are the closest thing to a Bible. Yes. Some people will ever see and read. Yes, yes, yes. You're the closest thing to Christ. Yes. My Christ, Christ. This is mm -hmm. this is the body. This is this temple. This is temple of the Holy Spirit. This yes. And wherever you go, he goes. So you can't hide. No. <laughs> but people see, hear your words, and they see your actions. Yeah. See, that's the closest thing mm. to a Bible some people will ever come close that's to. It. And they were so close, and you had an opportunity to speak, and didn't say nothing. God says, say this. Tell them this. Tell them I love them. Tell them I care for them. One word will change somebody's life. Yeah. Because you were obedient to what God wanted you to say. Mm -hmm. Because of what God wanted you yeah. to do. Yes, yes. And your Bible, you're the Bible, you're the word of God going somewhere to happen. Mm -hmm. You're his ministers of reconciliation yes. wherever you go. You're his ambassadors. You're his mouthpiece wherever you go. I'm letting the word of God out. You got to release it. Yes. Words are powerful, but you got to release them. Yes. And then enemy's not afraid of the Bible. That's right. Enemy, when I say enemy, I'm talking about Satan. He's not afraid of the Bible. Mm -hmm. He's afraid of how much Bible you got in you That's and it. how much Bible you're words you're releasing. Mm -hmm. When you release this, he says, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. That's right. You know, God has given, he gave us authority, but you're not using your authority unless you're speaking it. Right. When you take authority, you're going to speak to what the Word of God says, and the enemy is checking out. Yes. And that's what you want. You want the enemy gone. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant to say, we're not going to keep you long. Can you say amen? <laughs> we're not going to get through with this. Okay? <laughs> so I'm not racing, man. <laughs> stay, so stay focused. Yes. Stay positive yes. in, a, in, a, in a negative world. Don't have to look far to find uh, or see negative. That's it. That's for sure. People, including believers, mm -hmm. we talked about this last week, you know. Even believers, you know, start confessing the wrong things. Yeah. We got to be careful. But you're a tribe being, you got to get the word in you, you got to feed your spirit the word of God. Yes. Renew your mind to the word of God mm -hmm. and your flesh. You got to crucify. Because yes. flesh wants to. Take it easy. Rule. Be comfy and do nothing. Yeah, just rule, you know. Say, no, we're going to study the work today. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> All right. People, including believers, are quick to speak the negative mm -hmm. by speaking the problem. Mm. We're so quick to speak. You know, when you give voice to it, mm -hmm. you're giving it life. Yes. Including believers, Christians, whatever you call yourself. Mm -hmm. They confess the problem or the negative before they speak the positive, uh -huh. the truth, the word of God, the faith-filled word, the say-so yeah. of this what the word of God says. Some, some, some of these uh, include uh, self, self, you look in the mirror, <laughs> we got a problem here. <laughs> you ain't seeing nobody but yourself. 
Uh, friends, neighbors, co-workers, enemies. And, you know, you expect that from enemies. Mm -hmm. But you don't expect it from friends, neighbors, or co-workers. No. You know, sometimes we vent ourselves when we tell somebody. They can't. You know, you got people that come tell you about everybody else. No. <laughs> and they just come tell you. You know, guess, guess what? I should, when they leave you, they go tell everybody about you. <laughs> So you got to be careful what you share. That's it. What you give out, you know. Yes. Because people just, remember, we're the gospel church, not the gossip church. That's it. Amen. <laughs> well, that's what I got is next. Church, beware. Be careful. Our mission, we're the gospel church. The good news yes. church. The positive yes. church. Yeah. We're not the gossip church. The bad news church. Oh. Or the negative things. You know, if you want to hear negative things. Don't come to me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you positive things. Amen. Even, yeah. even, even on a daily basis when you confront negative people, they want to be ugly. Yeah. Amen. You don't go far. You find them quick. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few steps out of your house and you'll see. Mm. Speaking of negative, negative is a problem. Mm -hmm. That never helps. It, right. Listen, it keeps you in bondage. Uh-huh. It keeps you away yes. from your blessings. Uh -huh. He said he wants to bless you. He said he wants to visit you, but we're not open enough. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking negative is a problem. It keeps you in bondage. Mm -hmm. Speaking positive is a solution. Yes. It keeps the word and truth that sets you free. Mm -hmm. The blessings are flowing. The windows of heaven are open. Yes. You're speaking good things. You say confessing good things. Am I, am I making sense? Yes. <laughs> we got to confess his word. We got to yes. confess positive and not negative. Yes, Make yes. quality decisions on a daily basis to stay focused, to stay positive in yes. spite of the negative world, in spite of negative people, in spite of, in spite of uh, negative circumstances and negative distractions. All these things you're going to meet on a daily basis. You just got to be ready. Amen. And you're no exempt. There's only one perfect person. And that was Jesus. Amen. So all these things are going to come to us. Remember I told you about Peter? Uh -huh. He was ready to die for Jesus. Mm -hmm. But Jesus says, he had told Jesus, hey, I'm ready to die for you. I'm right, I'm right here. What do you want to do? He says, don't worry. He says, before the cock crows three times. Mm -hmm. he, but before the cock crows, he said, you'll deny me three times. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? He knew. Mm -hmm. And when the cock talk, crop God crowed three times. <laughs> Jesus didn't have to say anything. That's it. Jesus looked at Peter. Peter looked at Jesus. And told it all. Told it all. But you know what? He didn't give up on Peter. That's right. Peter went out and preached. Great message at Pentecost, you know. And many souls came to Christ. Yes. He's not giving up on you. That's it. Amen. But we got to get off. Or come see him and you know yes. do something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I'm sitting here because I'm waiting on him. You no, know? you're not. <laughs> no, he's waiting for you to get up. Yeah. <laughs> you're too All comfy right. now, right? You're too comfy. <laughs> and here's the thing we talked about last week also. Uh -huh. We put limits on ourselves. We yes. put limits on him. Yeah. Amen. He does impossible things. Yes, he does. He can do impossible things. He can yes. use you. That's that's not impossible. He wants to use you. Yes. You just, you just got to take the limits off. Amen. Oh, John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken to you that in me you might have had peace. In the world you have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And guess what? We're Christ-like. We're the faithers of him. So we can overcome these things too. Don't let the problem have you. That's it. You have it. You know, we haven't got there yet, but we speak to the problem. Yeah. We don't let the problem speak to us. That's it. That's Amen. It. Yes. Let's, 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 let's remember this. We can do all things. All and we can things. overcome all things. Stay focused. Stay positive. With a winning attitude. And yes. have a victorious day. Yes. yes. Don't be a victim. Be victorious. Yes. Amen. Yes. Seek Him first. Yes. Put the Word of God first. Yes. Matthew 6, 33. Psalms 118, 24 says... This is the day the Lord has made. Yes. I will be sad. No, no. no. <laughs> says, I will rejoice and be glad in it. He's talking to you. He's talking to us. He's talking to his church. We are the church. We're the body of Christ. Amen. But you have to do it. 
Well, you know, it's too windy, it's too cold, it's too whatever. We've got circumstances. You don't know what problems I have. Yeah, well, you got him because you haven't given it to him. He says, cast it on me. You give it to me. He says, give it to me. <laughs> Psalms 118, this day the Lord has made, some translation says, we will rejoice. Some say, I will rejoice. You can scratch both of those and just put your name right there. Jose will have rejoice and be glad in it. Regardless what the flesh is telling me. Regardless of what circumstances are telling me. Regardless of what the weather is telling me. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to have... Uh, oh, how should I put this? I'm going to have a joyful day in the Lord. Regardless of what the circumstances or what the other things say. Refuse to quit when things get tough. When things get tough. The tough Christians get going. Amen. We got to let go and let God. We put hit, we take the limits off and we got to press on. When things get tough, tough believers press on. Yes. He says, press on. Yes. Amen. Yeah, Thank things you. are going to happen. Things are going to get tough. But guess yes. what? We're going to press on. Yes. God is with you. God is backing you. God, God is, is, is giving you all, all that you have mm -hmm. to fulfill whatever it is he wants you to do. Yeah. Don't limit yourself. Mm -hmm. This is what God yeah. God has given me. Amen. Stay focused. Listen. <laughs> I know we have fellowship afterwards. I stay hungry for fellowship. <laughs> oh my but listen, we got to stay hungry for Him. Yes, we do. We need spiritual food, and that's what we're getting right now. We need spiritual food before we need physical food. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we we, we got to feed on the on the yeah. spiritual as well as the physical. Amen. Renewing our minds to the things yeah. of God. Yeah. So listen to this. When things get tough, yeah. tough believers get going. Yeah. You talk about Jesus, Moses, David, all these Bible heroes uh -huh. God used. Amen. Only Jesus was perfect. The rest of it sinned, but God still used them. I've sinned. I've come short. Yeah. I repent. Mm -hmm. And see, you know what he said? He says, I can't use you anymore. No, he says, get up. Press on. Yes. Get up, press on. You know, you see somebody yes. fall, encourage them. Amen. Because I used to be there. Yeah. This is my testimony. Yes. God brought me through. And you know yeah. what? He's used me in a wide way afterwards. You know, so you get up and God is for you. Press on yes. with the things of God. Amen. Don't let bondage, don't let people, don't let the world hold you down. That's it. When God says, press on. Yes. Amen. So don't be like Lot. I mean, uh, Lot's <laughs> wife, you know. You're going to turn, you're going to let the world and people turn you into a pillar of salt and just sit there and be made the rest of your life. No. If you can, listen, if you confess it, he's forgiven it. He says, I've forgiven, forgiven you and forgotten about it. Why are you still dwelling in this thing? Let it go. Press on. Nobody's perfect. Stand and continue to stand. Put on the whole armor of God. See the good in all, not just fault. Some of us are real good at our champions at doing this, you know. All we see is fault in them. Well, who made you God? <laughs> he judged. We bring him to Christ. He judged. He forgives. Let him do his. All he wants us to do is share. Share the gospel. Share the good news. And when we do this and they come to Christ, he'll take care of the rest. Don't try to do it. Your part and his part too. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't gonna work that way. That's it. Remember, love, oh accept, and forgive. Love, yes. accept, forgive. I like that. L A F. Be fishers of men. We catch God, judge, and clean. <laughs> yes. Remember, on a daily basis, if you need to write it, put it on your little bulletin board or wherever you mm -hmm. is. Stop the negative talk. Stop the murmuring, and stop mm -hmm. the complaining. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you have anything. Uh, to say, I wrote this somewhere, but I'll say it now. If you're gonna, if you're gonna pray about it, why worry about it? And yes. if you're gonna worry about it, why pray about it? That's it. Amen. That's it. That's it. I prayed about it, and now I'm worried and worried and worried. Why? <laughs> why did you pray then? Mm -hmm. That means you didn't trust it. That means trust you didn't trust this word. You didn't have faith in it. That's it. If you're going to pray about it, leave it there. When you take your trash to the dumpster, it stays there. You never take it back. 
<laughs> Your house will be full of trash. Overload it. Yes. You take it, leave it, and release it. You take it to the cross, leave it at the cross. Yes. Amen. He said, now he can do something with it. And leave it there, and he'll take care of it. And in his timing, he'll take he, he, he'll respond. But don't try to fit in and don't try to That's do it, it for him. Amen. So remember to stop the negative talk. Yes. Stop murmuring, stop complaining. Use your words. Guard your mouth. Yes. Watch your words and watch your actions. Mm -hmm. Nobody can do this for you except yourself. You know, I could have told him something, but I didn't want to say be blessed. Well, he just flipped me off. He just, he just said something to me. Mm -hmm. He said something bad to me. God bless you. How many, how many, how many people did uh, Jesus cussed off? None. Did he cuss at anybody? No. Did he say anything negative to anybody? Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> Don't be hung by the tongue. <laughs> Think before you speak. The battlefield is the mind. And man, I'm, your battlefield, your mind is going 100 miles an hour. And if it ain't from God, and if it's negative, don't even say it. I'm not. I'm not releasing it. Uh, Just because you thought about it, don't mean you said. You said when you release it. Uh -huh. Now you said the wrong thing. Lord, I'm sorry I said that. I apologize, brother. I didn't mean to say that to you. Please forgive me. <laughs> now it's on you. You can say no. I don't forgive him. I released it. He's got it. He don't want to forgive uh -huh. me. Now you got a problem. Mm -hmm. It's not me anymore. That's it. I'm cold. <laughs> we travel our whole life mm -hmm. using words. Yeah. So be positive. Amen. Listen to this. This is this is good. <laughs> we frame our worlds mm -hmm. with the word that we speak. Yes, we do. We're framing our worlds with the mm -hmm. our, our world with the words we speak. Mm -hmm. Is it positive or is it negative? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a solid foundation on the things of God. I'm going to be positive and, and have a solid foundation uh -huh. for the things of God. I'm not going to have negative things and be on the sand where things can just crumble. That's Amen. It. So I'm framing my world with the, with the word of God. Taste your words before you spit them out. Mm. <laughs> Good or bad, you choose. Yes. Amen. And listen, we have a free will. Yeah. He cannot, he cannot come in. He cannot force his way in and come in because you're not letting him in. Mm -hmm. It's your will to keep him out. Mm -hmm. He's not going to force his way on you. Mm -hmm. So let's be willing and obedient to let him in. Amen? Amen. So Praise God. I'm going to just say a few more things and then we're, we'll close and we'll pick it up here for next week. Amen. Again, Proverbs 1, 18, 24, and the New King James says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Your words, and those who love it, will eat its fruit. Talking about your mountain, mm -hmm. or talking about your giant, or talking about your storms mm -hmm. of life, will not bring them down. Mm -hmm. Just talking about it, it's going to magnify it. Yeah. It's magnifying the problem. Mm -hmm. Stay focused on him. Speak the word to move those mountains. Speak the word to uh uh, what's the word? Bring those giants down. Mm -hmm. Speak to those storms. Yeah. To have a calm. To be still. Cares, worry, sickness, financial problems, marital problems, habitual problems, sin. You speak to those. The word of God. Amen. Don't let them speak to you or dictate to you. Yes. You yes. speak to them the word of God. Amen. And uh, we have a handout. I, gave, uh, I just told you about it. We have a handout. Speak the say so. Speak the good things. And don't speak the negative things. I can think a lot of negative things. I can think a lot of bad things to say. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not releasing it. That's it. You know? I'm not releasing it. You have a gun. You have a, a weapon. You have a, a rifle. You choose when to fire it. Yeah. You have a gun. You have a mouth. And you choose when to fire it. Be careful when you release it. Because it's coming back at you. Yeah. So... Let's remember that. And this is, you can write this and magnify it and put it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Magnify him 
not the problem. Yes. We're so got it backwards. We magnify the problem more than we magnify him. That's it. Philippians 4, 6 in the NIV says this, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayers and petition with thanksgiving, present yes. your request to God. Yeah. God wants you to have true peace mm -hmm. by not worrying about anything. Worry is sin. It means you're not trusting him. Mm -hmm. And this is why I wrote that. It says, if you worry about it, if you pray about it, don't worry about it. And if you go worry about it, don't pray. Don't pray about it. <laughs> Makes sense. Again, First Peter five seven says what? Mm -hmm. Cast all anxieties, all cares on him, because he cares about you. Well, look at all these things God has given me. Look at all these things God has put on me. I don't think so. I don't think so. God has called us to fulfill our mission. Yes, He has. Each and every one of us has a mission. Yes. I don't know if you, anybody ever told you, but He called you. You have a calling. Mm -hmm. That's why you're here, and you got a mission, and He's equipped you to fulfill the mission. Yes. So we got to spend time with the one that given that's given us the call, that's given yes. us the mission, so we know what to do. Yes. And he's given us his word. Open the word uh -huh. and you'll find out what your mission is, what, what we need to do. Get in the word, study, meditate, spend yes. time with him and grow in the things of God. You're maturing. That's Just true. like a baby, you're growing in the yes. things of God. Yes. You don't want to be a spiritual baby That's all it. your life. That's it. You want to mature, be a mature Christian, a mature person. Amen. So God has called us to fulfill our mission as we go about fulfilling we must get rid of all cares, anxieties, worries, weights, and have peace of mind. And do this again, and I'll close with this. Do this. By doing this, we stay focused and we stay positive in this negative world. Amen. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity we have, Father, to hear what you have for us, Father. I receive it, Lord. Help me to do something with this, Lord. Yes. Amen. I want to change the way. I do think so. And I want to change and grow and go for you, Father, yeah. in Jesus' precious name. I want to fulfill what you've called me to do, Father. Yes. And you have a destiny for me. And I, I want to fulfill that, Father, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Some of you are watching. We won't close and give you the opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life. And you can start from here, right now. All you have to do is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. He won't turn you down. That's right. Amen. He won't turn you down. He'll come and he'll sup with you because you open it and you ask him to come. And he's going to come in. And now you start living for him. You start studying his word, reading and meditating on his word and spending time with him. Amen. Amen. So let's remember this. If you have sickness, any sickness in your body, just speak to him. The Bible says, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Yes. Quit confessing the sickness. That's it. The Bible says, my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. our Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, Father, we just thank you. Amen. And no, we allow no sickness in our body. Just put your hand wherever it hurts, you know. Father, we just thank you that by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Yes. I thank receive you. no malfunctions in my body. Whatever areas in my body needs to touch, Father, touch them, Lord. <coughs> and heal them according to your word father and we receive it we receive our healing lord in jesus precious name amen, amen. praise god thank you, lord. <laughs> time to uh, give if you're watching or listening uh just uh, fill, uh go to our website nbcbigben.com and press that donate button or if you're mailing it nbc p.o box 252 marfa texas uh 79843 yeah. Great job. Amen. God loves you and we love you. So God bless. Love you. Bye-bye.